are listening to Digital Pratik's podcast where you going to learn digital marketing for free every single day. I keep on learning every single day something new. I keep on applying that something new which I have learned in my life and I'll keep on sharing that something new which I have learned and applied and maybe I got some awesome results. All right, welcome back guys. So, how to build a strong Twitter following? Now, if you start following people like crazy which most of the people does and it's a great 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 and it's a biggest mistake on Twitter. If you start following people like crazy you will end up uh, being a not so active kind of a twitter following instead you need a smarter approach guys instead of just following people for the sake of getting more followers you should focus on finding people who consistently share and engage with content in your niche or your industry now in other words you actually need to find active twitter followers this way you'll build a more engaged twitter audience and therefore you'll get the most out of everything you share now the steps which i'm going to discuss right now in a while in this particular episode are the steps which we actually follow or i have personally followed for a couple of my clients and they have got awesome results now personally i haven't tried with my personal account which is at the rate digital pratik but i'm slowly and steadily now started growing uh, with with 5 to 10 followers and i'm scaling now to 50 followers a day slowly and steadily on twitter with this particular method so here are the steps step number 1 find relevant people in your industry that means you actually need to search for influencers and competitors in your industry the point of this method is actually to steal your competitors and those are actually most active followers uh, who are following your competitors so think about it like this if those people constantly engage with every tweet of competitors share they will be very likely to engage with your content too So if you are already knowing who your competitor competitors or influencers are you are all set. Now put their names on a list and jump to the next step. But but if you don't know them here are some ways to find them. All right? Head over to similarweb.com. Once again it's similarweb.com. I'll put up the link in the show notes of this particular episode and once you visit that website type in your domain in the search bar. Then click on the similar sites which you will see and you'll see a relevant websites now similar web is probably not 100% accurate so you need to analyze all those websites which you get as similar websites first before adding them to your list if they seem promising try to find their twitter accounts and you're all set you can also use amplification tab in buzzsumo.com but that will require you to upgrade to a pro plan or you can simply go to google and search for competitors or influencers in your segment step number 2 is once you have a list of relevant people it's actually time to zero in conversations on twitter remember to build a strong twitter following you should always be focusing on following active twitter's users only and the best way to do is by intercepting people at the moment they are engaging with someone else's content basically your competitor's content so here's what to do head over to twitter's advanced search if you don't know the link i'll put up the link it is twitter.com/search-advance this tool allows you to find any piece of information shared on twitter based on keywords accounts hashtags and many other things the point here is to find people engaging with your competitors content so how to do that you simply visit to twitter's advanced search and then in this section you see something like to these accounts right you will see a section of people and you'll see something mentioned like to these accounts over there insert one of your competitors twitter handle and click search this way twitter will show you all the tweets and people talking about that specific person or brand so let's suppose your competitor is uh, scm rush that is their handle is at the rate scm rush you simply put that handle in to these accounts section and you can also insert several different accounts at the same time now every time what you see is every time you see someone sharing or interacting with your competitors tweets follow that person so once you hit search for that particular competitor in two these accounts you'll see a list of people who are already sharing and retweeting and liking uh, scm rush's content or your competitors content you can simply follow them and follow at least 500 people or up to 500 people a day using this method and in as soon as 90 days you'll have a strong active and engaged twitter following to promote your content you to promote your blog to promote your business brand anything 
and of course uh, doing these things this way is more tedious i know but that will definitely give you results but it's actually 10 times more effective than what most of the people do by not following engaging and active user so this is the step these are the steps basically uh, which i'm personally following for my clients and they have got awesome results and i am i'm going to test them on my personal profile as well so if you found these steps helpful then do share them with your friends who are on twitter and they are looking to build their audience and their following and i look forward to see you in the next one till then take care bye bye and as always guys stay awesome god bless and subscribe hey 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 before you leave before you leave let me just give you a completely 100% free definitive guide on blogging which is a step by step video tutorial absolutely for free which is available at digitalmarketingforfree.com/startablog all right so it's once again digitalmarketingforfree.com/startablog you can find the link in the show notes of this particular episode and i look forward to see you in some review section because i genuinely want to know what is this podcast helping you in what all value you are getting from this particular podcast series and also make sure while you put in a review on this particular episode on this particular podcast make sure you enter your podcast uh, episodes or your podcast link as well so that we guys can connect each other and empower each other and help the community grow along with that been said this is digital pratik your podcast host signing off i'll see you later